Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here today because I was about to go grocery shopping with my kids, but my little L3 um, like chunk RTS came to the door right as we were about to put our masks on and go to the store. Um, so I thought I would come and share that with you. Yes, you can see part of my wax mess here. I have so much wax, it just feels so overwhelming. Um, anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't, I haven't even opened it. Um, I didn't get too much. Sorry, I'm just... It's been an emotional week. Um, I think... So I wasn't going for getting too much. A... Um, I don't have that many or that much experience with chunks from L3, but also I <clears throat> got on late because I wasn't planning on really getting anything, but then I saw like the different offerings, like the different scent combinations, and I thought, let me get a few of the things I've never tried. <clears throat> there was one that I wanted to get, but I had issues with the website for some reason. Um, I had to like log out, empty my cart, and start over twice. So there was only, but there was only one that hopped out. And so that's totally fine. It happens with RTS. And I think that one was called Odin or Eye of Odin or something like that. It was one of the, I think it was in like the perfume and clean section. Um, so she offered, there was like a fall and coffee section. There was like a bakery section. There was a perfume and clean section and a lavender and mint section. And I got stuff from each one except the straight up bakery section. So there you go. Um, let's see what my sticker says. Um, this says small steps are also progress. So that is very nice. And then um, I got my samples here. So let's see what these are. I get three samples like usual, which is awesome. Um, I love when I get little scoopable samples. This one is Enchanted Pears White Elephant Exchange. I actually thought about getting her Enchanted Pears once because I know that she talks about them. I think it was her sons or her nephews that talked about that scent and she puts that little quote, whatever they said under this scent um, on her website. And it actually does smell really good. I love the smell of like baked pears or poached pears, things like that. Um, so, and then I also get obviously the white elephant exchange, kind of like a soft vanilla bakery. So yeah, that's really nice. And it makes me want to try the enchanted pears scent of hers. So, uh, cherry licious <laughs> in this little bar. We'll see. Nope, 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 nope. Smells like a maraschino cherry. This is Jamaica Me Crazy Aloha Vanilla in a little bunny head. It smells like a fresh tropical fruit, ocean air kind of situation. It smells good. Okay, so I'm just going to grab from the front. Hi, Brianna. Yay. So I got this chunk in snooze button first, and this one is from the lavender and mint section. I was glad to just get a chunk because this is one she offers a lot that I've never smelled by itself. Hi, this is Brianna. And Teddy. She's and her Teddy. This is my seven-year-old daughter. Um, so I was glad to, that she offered it in chunks just so I could get a chunk of it, not a huge amount, and see if I liked it. So snooze button is buttermint, vanilla bean, Noel, and sweet lavender. And I'll pull out the chunk to show you here. I think it's blue and gray. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Nah. So that's a really pretty, looks like the corner of the pan. So I am first getting like a buttermint scent and then like a really vanillic sweet lavender. So yeah, I mean, it smells good. It smells like a, it smells like a nice nighttime blend. Um, 
One that I'm glad I got a chunk of and one that from the smelling it on cold, I will probably get more of. So I like that a lot. Um, this one was really interesting to me. I've never smelled it, um, but the blend sounded interesting. This is called Lady of the Lake. This was from the perfume and clean section. This is Sea Kelp, Twilight Woods, and Black Amber. Um, it just sounded like a nice deep blend to me, and I love the color of this chunk here. Mmm. That is a very, like, deep green scent. Oh, man. It's funny that it's called Lady of the Lake because it smells masculine to me. Like a very clean, deep green cologne, almost. Almost. But I like that a lot. Um, one that I probably wouldn't use like a loaf of, but I would definitely get from time to time. I like that. He look cute, B. Um, this next one I got um, was also in the lavender and mint section. I just thought it's, it sounds like a simple blend, but it sounded nice. Um, the name's kind of cool. Iceberg on the rocks. This is salty sea air and spearmint. Mmm, that's nice. Look at the color here. It's pretty. I mostly get the salty sea air, just a touch of spearmint. I really like spearmint in certain blends. Um, that is really, <laughs> really, I like the name of it. Um, that's nice, so like a nice, calm nighttime blend. Or, you know, I like, I honestly, I melt mint anytime. So I like that a lot. Mostly Salty Sierra, which is a touch of spearmint. Ooh, this chunk is huge. Um, I got this one because I almost got it in a loaf, but then I was like, ooh, I'm always iffy with leaves blends because if they're going to, a couple of the loaves of leaves blends that I gotten from L3, I get the loaf in and I smell it and it just smells like leaves. So I didn't want to get a whole loaf of it, but I thought a chunk would be plenty. So this, hold on B. This is from the fall and coffee section. And this is Predator. It's leaves, Palo Santo, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Ooh, see that does not mostly smell like leaves. That is really nice. I actually get the pumpkin pecan waffles the most, which that's what I was hoping for. This reminds me, I could be wrong, but it reminds me of like the 49ers colors. When I lived in Northern California a as a kid, or I mean, it was the East Bay area. A I know, Bree, thank you. Um, everyone loved the 49ers. So yeah, I get the pumpkin pecan waffles the most, then leaves, but there is definitely Palo Santo in there. Okay, I really like that a lot. Maybe I should have gotten, maybe I'll ask her um, to offer more of this, but this isn't one that I'd want like a ton of. It does smell like fall, like so much like fall, but I think you could melt it in the winter. Um, that Palo Santo makes it more like nighttimey. Um, but man, yeah, I really like that. Now I regret not getting a loaf of that because I really like that one. Not all leaves for sure. Um, this next one was from the coffee and well, I think all the rest of them are from the fall and coffee section now. This is coffee bean, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla ice cream. Ooh. Her coffee bean's not my favorite coffee. It's okay. I mostly get coffee bean and like vanilla ice cream. Which is interesting because her sugar cookie royale oil is really strong. There's just a touch of it in there. This one's okay. Not my favorite. <clears throat> but that's why I'm glad she offered chunks. So that I could just get little bits of things. Let's see. I just have two more guys. This next one is cashmere cedar, blue spruce, and autumn flannel. And I got this one because I love autumn flannel oil very much. And I love cashmere cedar. And blue spruce obviously is a tree scent. So I just thought this would be, oh, that smells so good. This is, and I love this color. This is a very fresh, woodsy scent. Okay, read up. be careful of the... Yeah, okay, so I definitely, cashmere cedar is a very strong oil. That's what I get first. Then I get blue spruce and autumn flannel almost equally. This is really nice. This is a very, like, somehow fresh air, but also cozy, woodsy, winter tree scent. But you could definitely also melt this anytime. This is really nice. Uh, I might request that one also. Um, really, like, rugged woodsy fresh that's really really nice for anyone that likes scents kind of like similar that um to the ones i like um you'd really like that one 
Okay, last one, guys. Um, this is Blackberry Sandalwood Coffee Bean. Now, I got this one, once again, Nicole Perry. She always has these really cool coffee blends that either she makes or that she finds. Like, she'll be talking about scents that she's purchased um, from, like, L3, let's say. And she'll be like, oh, coffee and sandalwood. It's amazing. And I was like, first of all, I did not see that one. Second of all, I don't know if I did, if I'd buy it, because that sounds so unique. I don't know. Um, so I picked this one up because I love Jennifer's Blackberry. Um, her coffee bean's not my favorite oil. But then it's with sandalwood. And I just thought, I have no idea what that's going to smell like. Let's buy it and see. See, I wish this would have been with espresso. The coffee bean, her coffee bean oil is like, it smells like old coffee in a pot. I get that little bit of sandalwood. I like her sandalwood oil is really nice. It's like a fresher sandalwood. I can't really say that I ha can smell her blackberry. At least on cold. But I'm excited to melt that one and just see what happens. Um, now I almost want like a, like a low for some chunks in just her sandalwood oil. Cause I can, that's what I actually smell the strongest and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, first of all, I love the color here. Um, but yeah, her coffee bean, bean oil is just not, I know people must love it cause she makes a lot of blends with it and people buy it. So other people must really like it. But yeah, we'll have to see. Um, blackberry sandalwood would be a great blend from L3. That would be awesome. Anyways, guys, that was it. I didn't get a ton um, because, like I said, I clearly do not need more wax. But I wanted to just give a few different types of scents a try. Um, thank you, Brianna. And there's a couple that I really liked. Um, I would think, honestly, like, oh, man, that's so hard to choose. But probably Predator... Um, and then the cashmere cedar blue spruce autumn flannel. Those are probably my two favorite, um, that I got here, but they were all really nice. Um, yeah, they were all really nice. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Teddy saying bye, uh, stay safe, do what you can do. We'll see you later. Bye. bye.